today we're going to be doing a rainbow scientist <laughs> experiment with water density. So what you will need for this experiment is six cups, sugar, food coloring, and of course a measuring spoon. All right, so step one is to put your cups all in a nice little line. Yeah. Or a bunch, whatever you prefer. And then we're gonna fill each cup halfway with water. All right, so next, after we have all of our cups full of water, we're going to add sugar. But we're gonna be adding a different amount of sugar to each cup. Our first cup, we're not gonna add any sugar at all. Our second cup, we're gonna add one tablespoon. So you can do that now, make sure you measure it. You're gonna do one tablespoon in the first cup, second cup. The next cup is gonna have two tablespoons. So we're gonna double the amount. The fourth cup is gonna have three tablespoons of sugar. The next cup is gonna have four. Oh, four. <laughs> yeah. So zero, one, two, three, four. So that's two. Last cup is gonna have the most amount of sugar. It's gonna have five. All right, so now that we have all of our sugar and you can see they have different amounts, we're going to mix it until it dissolves. All right, so now that we have all of our sugar put in and we have it all mixed up and dissolved, we're gonna be adding some color. So we're gonna do the colors of the rainbow. So we're gonna start with red. And the first one. Yep, so just do three dots. I think I'll just do one to make it like a little too light. Like this. And then we're gonna do... Uh, definitely do another one, that's too light. So just two. So we have red. So next we're gonna make orange, but we don't have orange. So we're gonna actually mix two colors together to make orange. And those two colors are yellow. One dot of yellow. Okay. And orange. Please don't and ruin. red. Please don't ruin it, red. Ooh, come on, come on, come on. Red does not ruin it. Ooh, dang. All right, cool. And then mix it up. So if you watch our primary colors video, we showed you how you can mix colors to make new colors. All right, so we have red, we have orange. Next we need yellow. yellow. Okay, now let's put it in. Looking good. Okay, I see you yellow. All right, so red, orange, yellow, green. And we Ooh, do have green. We need, oh yes. Yeah, we have green, yeah. So we don't have to mix. But if you wanted to mix, you could mix blue and yellow to make green. But we'll just go ahead and do it. All right, so next we need blue. And we have blue, so we'll just do two dots of blue. And then after this is purple. Look how pretty that is. I love blue. Blue just makes me happy. All right, last we need purple, but, but we do not. Sad. Blue is not sad, blue is gorgeous. It's like the sky, the sky is happy. All right, so next we need purple, so we're gonna be mixing. Blue and red. Blue and red. I'm gonna do one dot of each. Give me a drum roll. One. Blue. And two. One dot of red. 
She's a little too red. I'm begging you. Red likes to be kind of crazy. Yeah. It'll come out too fast. Yeah. All right. Let's mix them up. All right. Oh! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. Look at us being little magicians over here mixing colors. All right, so now we have every single color of the rainbow. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet or purple. Now let's see if we can get into this. Yeah, so this is the tricky part of the experiment. We know that we added different amount of sugar to each cup. So the first cup had no sugar whatsoever. Second cup had one tablespoon of sugar. Yellow has two tablespoons, green has three, blue has four, and purple has the most sugar, it has five. So what we're gonna try to do next is put all of these colors into one glass. And we're gonna see what happens when we combine the different colors. So here's my glass. We're gonna start with purple. Purple had the most sugar, so. We're gonna start with purple. I'm just mixing it up. There's still some sugar on the bottom. There's nothing in there. So right now, you can just, purple. It looks darker in the video, but there we go. So we have purple. Now this is the tricky part. We're gonna try to use a straw because Nyla came up with a great idea because we did not have a, what is that thing even called? Um, so you usually would use one of these. But it didn't work out. It didn't work It just time? made a big purple blob. And it was too Please much. Be worth it. out of water and sugar. Why did this work? Why are all the colors separated? So as you can see, the purple stayed at the bottom. The purple had the most amount of sugar. It had five tablespoons of sugar. So it had the most density and it sunk to the bottom. The blue had four tablespoons and it stays just above the purple because it doesn't have as much density, but still has a lot. The red on the other hand had no sugar at all. So it had the smallest amount of density. And as you can see, it stayed floating at the top. Density is important for when we're trying to find out if things can sink or float. And you can watch our video on sink and float too to learn more about that. If you do this experiment at home, I highly suggest using a dropper to make it a little bit easier to pour the water into the glass. But other than that, it was really fun and I think it was well worth it because how beautiful is our rainbow? All right, well, thank you for watching. I hope you learned something and have a great day.